Spoonless here to tell you all about the difference between an inverting and a non-inverting amplifier. Now this circuit right here in fact is not an inverting amplifier. I know that's what I said in the last video but I was wrong. I had a slip of the tongue. Um, in fact all the math that I did in that uh, video is still right. Um, I actually you know did all the math for this circuit. I just forgot to say the word non um, prefix non I don't know um, anyways uh, this is in fact an inverting amplifier and the only difference between these two circuits are the placement of VN so VN is tied to your non-inverting input appropriately for the non-inverting amplifier um, and in the inverting amplifier, your non-inverting input is tied to ground. Um, and VN is tied to R1. So it would be like really nice, I guess, if this were just a sign change for the transfer function. But it's actually a bit more than that. It changes the circuit a little bit. Um, so the, the, the big thing is that since this is held at zero volts or ground, then um, the inverting input is also at ground. Um, and just like before, the current doesn't really have any place to go except for through R1 and then up through R2. So both currents are the same. So, um, so let's analyze VN. VN is equal to, now let's follow the uh, path through R1. R1 and we're at our inverting input and that is effectively ground. So we're, we're already there, we're at ground. So it's just I R1. Now let's look at uh, V out. V out, uh, if we follow the path through R2, we end up at the inverting input and again we are at ground. So this is equal to I R2. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that the current is flowing opposite what it did in this circuit. So in this circuit, uh, ground is here. So this is actually at, if this is zero volts and this is at some, let's, let's say it's a higher voltage, the current's actually going to flow backwards through R2 uh, from the way that it did in this circuit. So you actually get a negative sign right there. So that's where the inverting comes in. So this makes the transfer function really easy. Uh, v out over V in is equal to negative, and I'm gonna I'm gonna flip um, the R's and the I's. Um, so R two I over R1 I and just like before uh, we have I's in the top and the bottom so they cancel out and ta-da that boys and girls is your transfer function for an inverting amplifier uh, not terribly different but different enough uh, that you know you got to pay attention to which amplifier you're looking at. Um, again, sorry about the uh, the little uh, misnomer in the last video. So, well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me socially, I can be found on Twitter at at Spoonless Corey. My blog is cheesedoff.com, and if you'd like to stay up to date with all the happenings on my channel, I encourage you to subscribe. Have a good one.